Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terry video. Today we are checking out the Steam Trio bosses from the Enigma mod. Now this is a mod that I have done a playthrough with a while back. I think I only played through it once and it's updated a lot since then. But yeah, this was one of the key things that stuck out from the mod was this Steam Trio. I love when Terraria mods, you know, focus on a theme. For example, mushrooms, mech, stuff like that. I love that. The Steam slash Steampunk stuff is also very cool. So we're going to be checking out the items related to them, the bosses themselves and a bunch of other stuff but first let's go ahead you see this little little button it looks like a big button but if we touch it boom we get shot up into the air onto this platform right here and uh, let's go ahead let's start going through the chest one by one now obviously the first thing we should do is check out the bosses themselves because the bosses they are a sight to behold there's some really cool bosses in this lineup so uh let's go ahead let's check it out so we're gonna start with the first boss the annihilator which this one you do have to spawn at night so let's check it out oh we got some bumping music hopefully not copyrighted but here is the annihilator look at him he's a giant tv screen you love to see it i don't know i I don't really watch TV. Maybe he, he's a giant monitor. I don't know. But yeah, he kind of just floats around. Hopefully, I don't insta kill him. Maybe I should use this. Okay, he's got a he's got a next phase here. Uh, he shoots these little balls around. Now, if I remember correctly, I think this is one of the tougher ones out of the three. I'm not sure. I don't remember the videos. There probably is a video specifically where I fight all three of them. Let me hit him once with this. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, he's kind of got like the uh, brain of Cthulhu little thing going on. That's cool. I feel like this fits the, fits this guy more than it fits the Brain of Cthulhu. But, uh, you know, I could see him as, you know, a mech version as the Brain of Cthulhu. Now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Oh, look, he's got some uh, blue screen. I know about that. I Recently, I plugged in a new monitor and then my computer blue screened. It was amazing. I loved it. So he just seems to get faster and faster and more scary. Where'd he go? He's flying up into the sky. He's coming back down. Slowly but surely coming back down. What's up, man? Maybe, like... When you hit him, no, I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. There was the Annihilator. All right. Next up, we got the Slybertron, which I think is a pretty much hard mode version of the King Slime. So I'm liking that so far, that they're hard mode versions of the bosses that don't have hard mode versions. And I'm assuming, well, we'll talk about the next one when we get there. But he has this little steam attack he's doing. Really cool. And then he shoots out little cogs. I'm assuming I like spike balls. Okay, he shoots that out too. Let's go ahead. Let's get a hit on him. I haven't mentioned the designs really, but I really love the designs. Like, like I said, I love the theme of, you know, steampunk. And let's just go ahead. Let's see if we can get him into some other phases. Phase two weapons activated. That's not the strongest weapon. Well, I am in God mode, so I don't think anything's gonna be too strong. But he shoot. He's shooting a little more. He's shooting a little more. Let's see. Is there a phase three? We gotta be careful. Don't insta kill. I don't think there's a phase three. All right, last but not least, the suspicious train whistle summons the steam train. This right here. I believe this is a hard mode version of the queen bee in some ways. But this 100% is my favorite boss out of all of them. He's a fucking train, bro. <laughs> look at him he's trying to run a train on me if you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm saying it's like the queen bee because of the dashing well, i don't know there, obviously there's no uh, pre-hard mode train boss in terraria maybe there will be in 1.4 i don't know but this thing is just beautiful i love your creativity and uniqueness of this boss and uh you know the enigma mod is really good at having creative stuff there, there's a lot more creative stuff maybe i'll do a mod review video in the future i don't know we'll see about that but let's see okay he goes into super drive and he's got these little cogs chasing around which this can be definitely tough there's a lot of dodging i do here and as you can see he's coming up higher he's coming up higher you know he was on the floor i guess he just dashes like wherever you're standing but i think that's it in terms of what he does oh hyper drive okay so there was super drive and now there's hyper drive a little bit more stuff to dodge and he's going a lot faster he is going a lot faster but yeah let's go ahead let's take him out see you later warp drive there was one more that we didn't see which i'm assuming he just goes even faster i am in expert mode remember that i, I always do play in expert mode uh i used to not play in expert mode believe it or not but then you just kind of got used to it or i just kind of got used to it i'm assuming it's gonna be the same with master mode when that comes out but yeah those were the three steam trio bosses all right so we got the drops here from the bosses starting with this one right here the steam tank which drops from the steam train it is an accessory that increases mystic damage by 12 percent which the, there is a mystic class 
class, a new class in the Enigma mod, which is really cool. Gives you plus 20% overflow, increases movement speed by 50%, and jump height by 2, reduces cooldown between Mystic Bursts. Um, maybe in the future we'll do a Mystic playthrough, we'll see, I don't know. You also get Souls of Rot and Steam Bars, which these are both used to craft a bunch of the weapons and items, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll check these out as we go through them. Next up, we got the Cog of Knowledge, which drops from the Annihilator. Also, an accessory, increase your max number of menus by 2, simple and sweet. Next up, we got the Pipe Works, which drops from the Slybertron, which is a throwing accessory, 50% throwing damage and 25% throwing velocity. Now these three accessories actually do craft some other stuff here. It makes the clock face, the steam spark jet boots and the steampunk watch. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out these three items now that those craft starting with the steampunk watch. Now this is pretty simple. It just changes the time of day. Hopefully you can still see me. It's kind of dark. Being able to change the time of day, especially in modded area is very, very useful. Next up, we got the clock face, which is an accessory that reduces the cooldown between time stops now there is an item in here that stops time um i believe it is a jojo reference i know how you jojo fans are so there you go and last but not least the steam spark jet boots steam powered where it can run super fast immunity to lava can walk on liquids increase flight time acceleration if worn under wings so these you know they're obviously not bad at all nice little kicks i i don't see them on my feet i guess they don't show up on your feet but uh you know just a really good upgrade to the lightning boots i believe and uh who doesn't love running faster and flying longer all right so next up we're checking out these fans here that we can craft and the steam vent which obviously we've already seen this thing is sweet i might use this for a future video something fun we can do with it actually i'm interested if npcs can walk on it let's go ahead let's test that out test that out will he no they don't even wow they don't even walk on top of it let's go ahead let's check out these uh brass fans and brass ring start with the ring it's a rotation inertia negator of gravity boosts you upwards so flying through ring is not advised as your wings will override the boost so you don't fly through it uh how do you how do you place this thing i'm assuming you place it like this against the wall yes okay and then you jump okay so kind of just boosts you up let me make sure let me take these off do you take fall damage I'm in God mode, so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, this is a cool way to go up and down. Like, if you set a bunch of these up, like, I'm assuming you could just kind of just shoot upwards, especially if you live on a sky island or something. That's pretty cool. Next up, we got fans, which I assume we all know what these do. They blow you. But let's go ahead. Let's get blown on camera and see how this works exactly. Because the QWERTY's mod also has fans that I used in the uh, NPC racing video. So let's see how good these ones are. Maybe these ones are better. I don't know which, which is the... Okay, so this one shoots to the left. So we place it this way. Is it blowing me? I don't know. <laughs> Boost you to the right. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. So that's how it works. You got to jump into these things. Oh my. That, that thing shoots you pretty far. What happens if I have like two of them set up like this? Help. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's check out the armor you could craft here. The steampunk set. Starting with the chest plate and the boots. The boots give you 14 defense insulated immune to steamy, which I'm assuming is a debuff and plus 10% movement speed. The chest plate gives us 16 defense and 8% increased damage and critical strike chance. And then we got the three helmets. Let's start with this one. The headgear. 14 defense and then is a throwing set. Depending on what helmet you're wearing, you get a different set bonus, which is very, very nice. Let's check out the minion one. Boom. Gives you 18% minion damage damage and four minion capacity not bad you know this is kind of utilizing the underused classes in terraria because in my opinion the summoner is still one of the weaker classes in terraria i feel like it can use a lot more in vanilla terraria and the uh, thrower obviously is not going to be in terraria 1.4 but is definitely underutilized in vanilla and last but not least we have the mystic helmet which gives you a boost in mystic stuff and the step bonus is 200 percent mystic duration switching mysticism unleashes a burst of steam decrease mystic burst cooldown so maybe it's better to rock the mystic stuff you get like three different things but yeah i have no idea about the mystic class like i said i don't know we'll, maybe we'll do a playthrough Let, let's say like if this video if this video right here hits a thousand likes we'll do a little mystic class playthrough maybe not like a full like episode playthrough but like you know i'll record for like an hour two hours and then like i'll chop up highlights something like that let me know let me know like the video if you guys want to see that so i got two more things we're gonna check out here the core of mysticism which is craftable with a bunch of the gear stuff and it gives you 15 percent mystic damage and 25% more Mystica is transferred when used. And the train whistle. Equipable, cause a train for you to ride. Not so suspicious. Boom, boom. Let the smoke uncover. And look at this. 
Oh no. <laughs> I kind of want to see how fast this train can get. I feel like it can get pretty fast if we get a nice straight line. Oh man, it's actually not too bad. This is not a bad mount at all. I like it. I like this. Maybe we got to add this in the next mount video we do because oh no. All right. So we're going to be checking out the weapons. We're going to go by class starting with the mage stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's check these out. Book of knowledge. Let's go ahead. Let's check out our dummy that's over here and uh, let's see if he can handle the damage from all this starting with the book of knowledge. Which we'll see what it does. Okay. Shoots lightning. I don't know how that's knowledge. Next up, we got electro spark. Zap them to dust with well, this one. I expect to shoot lightning. I mean, yeah, that kind of looks like lightning, I guess. Not really. It looks electrical for sure. Next up is the Stationator. Oh my God. I love the trains. I love me some trains. And last but not least of the mage stuff, I believe is the Staff of Steamworks. Let's get steamy. They weren't lying. They weren't lying. All right, we are checking out the melee stuff, starting with the Brass Claymore which is gigantic. Is there a giant reforge on it? No, it's just gigantic apparently. What in the hell? Next up is the Gearkin. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's a yo-yo, very cool. Shoots out a bunch of gears. Who doesn't love some yo-yos, especially in Terraria? After that, we got the Steamwork Shanker. Oh my God, this thing's got some range, bro. This thing's got some inches. No homo? Next up, the Engineator. I already know what this does. We're gonna throw a train, aren't we? <laughs> hell yeah, oh, and they come back? This, this is an amazing weapon. And last but not least, the train scythe, which this seems like this is probably like a post moon lore weapon because this thing is not only huge and I'm hitting things with a train, but it does a lot of damage. Look at the size of this weapon. What the hell? All right, next up, we got the clockwork shotgun. This is the range of stuff. I'm assuming it's just a shotgun. Oh, it shoots out a lot of stuff though. Look at that. Why are these weapons so huge? Do I have something that's like making these things huge? Like I feel like some of these weapons are the size of me. And then some. Next up, we got the uh, steam string, which turns wooden arrows into brass arrows and fires additional brass arrows. This actually seems like this would be pretty good. I don't know what the brass arrows do, but they sh they, I'm shooting a lot right now. And this seems like this is really good, especially if it pierces. Extremely good. Next up, we're moving to the summoner stuff. Summons a TV to fart for you, the antenna. <laughs> That's a TV? What kind of TV is that? It looks like a looks like a microwave. All right, let's see it in action. Let's go ahead. Let's summon something. Summon a slime. Get him. You know, it shoots like electrical rays, which honestly makes sense. But for some reason, I really thought this TV was going to go up and just like bash its head on the slime. I don't know why. Next up, we got the mystic weapon here. The Vulcan's Wrath, which does 54 mystic damage and it does destruction. Don't know what any of this stuff means. I have no idea. This just seems like a sword of some sort. And uh, we're using our destruction damage right here. Lux Vis Mundus. That sounds like uh, we're talking about Thalmcraft. <laughs> Last but not least, we got the throwing weapons here. Of course, the Engineator again, but this time it does throwing damage. I'm assuming you can give, convert between the two, melee and throwing. This is <laughs> very, very interesting how they fly around you. Next up, we got the Coginator, which is just some cogs. You straight up just throw them and they come in stacks. So uh, they're probably... You can probably pick them up. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yep, there you go. Next, we got the Jet Dagger. Uh, like I said, I don't know if these things, all these weapons are supposed to be this big. Like, I don't know. I feel like everything is bigger than usual, and I have no idea why. <laughs> like, is this pickaxe bigger than usual? No, look, these look the same size, so maybe the weapons are just all big. But yeah, I believe that is most of the Steam-related stuff when it comes to this mod. There is a couple of other things. I don't want to spoil it, though, so we're not going to go over them. But this is all the Steam-related stuff that you can get pretty much right when you kill those bosses, uh, probably excluding this thing, because I think we might need to get this later on. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff with the Enigma mod, and I like the mod a lot. It's a very underrated mod. I don't see many people talking about it. Y'all should try it out. Y'all should try it out. And remember remember like i said if this video hits a thousand likes you know that'll let me know that you guys want to see that possible mystic class playthrough but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content also make sure to follow my twitch my twitter join my discord and subscribe to my second youtube channel where i post my full twitch live streams vod raiders 101 but yeah i will see y'all in the next video i got a lot of fun ones coming out so get ready